have you ever had a moment in your life where you really wanted to get something or do something, but you thought, eh, that's not for me. I'm not good enough. I can't, I can't, I can't. Then this video is for you. Let me tell you a little story about me. I was born in Caracas, Venezuela in a very humble home. I was growing up in dreams and my parents were growing in debt and poverty. We had to move to a town that was 45 minutes away from the city. In my house, what we were going to eat for dinner was a huge challenge and an important decision. I didn't speak English, yet I was fascinated with Hollywood and movies and acting and dancing and singing. I would dream. Dreaming was my way to escape reality. I remember I couldn't even attend birthday parties because we had no decent clothes. In 2001, my parents and I and my sister came to America. I was 15 when I arrived. And since I was 16 years old, I had to work. Fast food restaurants, music stores, shoe stores, clothing stores, restaurants, you name it. I had to work to help my family financially, especially after my parents got divorced. My dad took things away from my mother. There was a lot of desperation and a feeling of belonging to a group of people who don't ever get what they want. I couldn't even afford to go to my high school prom or the graduation ceremony. I worked those days. I did fall into the smoking cigarettes and drinking to numb the pain, but I was also numbing the part of the brain that has hope and motivation. I had a neighbor, Alberto, who always told me that I was capable of doing anything. I just had to believe it. When I started to believe that I deserved good things, good things started to happen to me. I became an American citizen in 2008 and I was accepted into New World School of the Arts in 2009. My first day of orientation was so sad because the students repeatedly said that as a student of New World, you will not be able to keep a job. I said to my friend Jose Luis that I was probably not supposed to enroll in this school. He said, you're anticipating the problems. Once you get there, you will know what to do. And he was right. In four years, I was evicted from a place, lost weight, didn't sleep much, couldn't keep relationships, and missed out on many parties and family reunions. I couldn't even see my grandmother before she passed away. But I graduated with my bachelor's degree and kept on dreaming. I committed to my dreams and turned them into plans. I thought, even though this is a major achievement for me and my family, I want to go beyond. I'm going to go to Los Angeles and get a master's degree at UCLA. It was the only university I applied for because I saw myself there. I got accepted. I moved to Los Angeles by myself. It was very scary. I knew nothing, but what I knew was enough. I knew that I deserved great experiences. I went through everything from meeting amazing professors to others that weren't so amazing. I went from being able to meet wonderful friends to being abused by some men, but it did not stop me. It made it harder for me, but it did not stop me. In some occasions, I had to sleep in my car and ask friends for help. Today, I graduate from UCLA with a terminal degree. Did I ever think it possible? No. Did I accomplish this alone? No. This is a win for all of those who believed in me and helped me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just really want to say thank you. And for those who feel stuck, who feel depressed and who are losing hope, please don't. I guarantee you that there's something you can do to change your present. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I am saying it's going to be possible. You got to believe that you can do anything. Yes, you can. Fuck no, cortalo.